Ever joked that Facebook is reading your mind? Well, you're not exactly wrong. Meta, the company behind Facebook and Instagram, is tracking way more than what you do on their apps. Even when you're not logged in, even when you're not using Facebook, even when your phone is across the room, okay? They are tracking what you're doing. Today, I'm breaking down off Facebook activity, what it is, why it matters, and how you can shut it off and take back your privacy. Let's jump into it. So here's the deal. Meta has an invisible tracking system called Off Meta Activity. Fancy name with a sneaky purpose. This feature allows Meta to collect data about everything you do outside of Facebook and Instagram. What websites you visit, what you search, what apps you open, what you add to your shopping cart on other websites, even what you almost buy online. If a website uses meta business tools like the Facebook Pixel, the login with Facebook button, or an embedded Instagram post, boom, meta gets information about what you did there. This happens quietly behind the scenes. You don't get a prompt. You don't get a pop up. You don't even get a choice unless you know where to turn it off. Now, here's where the frustration really comes in. Most people think if I'm logged out of Facebook or Instagram, they can't track me, right? No, Meta collects this data no matter what, unless you go in and manually stop it. And the worst part, they don't clearly tell you what's happening. That's why so many users feel misled because this tracking reaches across the entire web, building a very detailed map of your online habits, your preferences, and your behaviors. They know more about you than they should. Oh, and before you think Instagram is any better, it's not. Instagram uses the exact same tracking network. If your Instagram is linked to your Facebook, the data flows together. What you click, what you watch, what you search or browse online for, Instagram gets access to that too. So if you're wondering, why is Instagram showing me ads for something I looked up over 10 minutes ago? Yeah, that's why. Now, what do they actually collect about you? Well, here's just a sample of what Meta collects from other websites and apps you use. The pages you read, the videos you watch, the searches that you perform, apps you open up, items in your shopping cart, purchases even outside of Facebook or Instagram that you make, donations you make outside of Facebook and Instagram, and logins using Facebook or Instagram online. So if you go to log into a website, they have login via Facebook or Instagram, or it's connected to Facebook and Instagram. They can see all that on any of the websites that their business tools are running on. It's a lot of data, enough to paint a very scary, accurate portrait of you and what you do, which is why turning it off is a huge privacy win. All right, now let's get to the best part. Let's take your privacy back. Here's how to turn off Facebook activity on desktop and mobile. We're gonna start here on our desktop. We're gonna log into facebook.com, click your profile picture up in the top right, go to settings and privacy, settings, and then on the left, go to privacy again. They always make it so you have to go through all these steps. Look for off Facebook activity, off Facebook activity, okay? Click manage your off Facebook activity, hit clear history to wipe out what they have already collected, then go to more options, manage future activity and toggle it off. This is how you do it for the desktop. Now let's see how you do it on a mobile device. On the mobile phone, it's pretty similar. We're gonna open the Facebook app, tap the three lines, go to settings and privacy, and then settings again, scroll down to permissions, tap off Facebook activity, clear the data, and then turn off future tracking. Now a bonus tip with this or a nice little add in here, if your Instagram is linked to Facebook, this also stops data sharing across both applications. And now in case you're wondering, can this hurt me in any way or are there any negative effects to it? Well, what changes when you disable all of this is you drastically reduce Meta's ability to track you. You take back control of your digital footprint in a small way and it becomes a little less creepy because you're not getting ads that feel like your phone is listening to you or Facebook and Instagram is watching what you do. Your activity essentially stays your business. The only cons could be ads become less relevant. So if you like ads for some reason, which most people don't, they will be a little bit less relevant to you. Some apps that use uh, Facebook may lose the personalization effects that they had before. 
and a few websites that you go to may ask you to log in each time. That That's about all you're gonna uh, experience. But to get rid of those creepy ads and the fact that they're tracking you in the background, I'd say it's well worth it. Now, if you really wanna level up your online privacy, here's a quick list of tools that'll help you stay under the radar, especially from Meta. Use track blocking uh, browser extensions, right? So tracker blocking browser extensions would be like Ghostery or uBlock Origin. I use uBlock Origin. I really, really, really like it. It's a really great uh, ad blocker, helps tracking, um, stop tracking a little bit online. So check that one out if you have some time. Use a VPN if you want to try to make it harder for Meta to link your activity with your location. Um, I don't necessarily go this far, but you could use a VPN to help stop Meta from um, linking, you know, what you're doing online to your location where you live. Clear your cookies often. This could help disrupt your online tracking trail, okay? It's not a guarantee, but if you clear these out often, it could slow down Meta from being able to see what you do, especially on the websites, again, that they have their business tools uh, set up on or they have the connection to. Review your Facebook and Instagram privacy settings every few months so you remain covered in case any changes are made. Meta updates their apps constantly and you don't want to assume that your settings are going to be the same as they were the last time you checked. Get in there often, check it out, see where you stand, where your private, what your privacy settings are currently set at, okay? This is digital housekeeping and it'll help keep you safe online. Your data is yours and you deserve to have full control over who sees it, who uses it, and where it goes. Turning off, off Facebook activity, well that was a mouthful, is one of the simplest ways to protect your online privacy. And now you know exactly how to do it. If you ever need help staying secure online, privacy, antivirus, tech support, anything like that, reach out to us here at My Computer Works. We'd be happy to help. Here's the number on screen for a moment. Thanks for watching everybody. Drop a comment down below if this helped you out or if you wanna see us cover a different topic. Subscribe for more videos just like this and please hit that like if you enjoyed the video on your way out. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all on the next one.